Welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD DIY 3 dtechcom In this episode we're going to take a quick look at building an oblong shape or connector. So one of the things that as is, is I'm building things I always find I need uh, some sort of connector and then also I need some sort of rounded edge object. So as you can see here the relief on this is a rounded edge so I, I just kind of want to show you guys how this is done uh, provide you with the code and, and so you kind of get an idea so kind of long story short let's let's jump over here into the base code because as you can see I've got a module defined I'm calling a module executing a module I'm creating a module called oblong and as you can see I'm passing it a number of variables so let's jump down here into the module code and then let's add percent so we can kind of see how it comes together and as you see what we really have here is we have three union components because you see we have a union up here and so what we're doing is we're having a cube which is intersecting the center of both of these cylinders and then we're obviously here calling two of the cylinders uh, on each side and translating them apart a set distance that we've defined up here because here we can see we have our parameter. So we have the diameter, which is going to be the radius of this. Uh, we have the length, which is going to be the distance. We have how tall it is, where the height here, and then we have hole one, hole two, and then whether we want it centered it within reference to the origin or not, which you see we, we have uh, set true here. So it's a pretty basic object, and then what we do is we, um, in the second piece, knock out the hole. So let's take a quick look at the hole piece here. And then so you kind of see we, we do a difference and we take out the holes and uh, for the center. We've also applied some logic here, you know, so um, for the holes. So if hole is uh, greater than one, okay, go ahead, do it if hole you know, two is less than zero, then don't do it. Uh, the other nice thing is, is let's, um, if we go back and let's take out these uh, percent signs and then just uh, recompile it. So the nice part about it, the way I designed this is you could have two sets of, of holes. So like I could go, I could do a four and you kind of see here, so I can have two hole diameters in this. Um, and then I can call this as a you know a different piece so for example I could do something uh, like this let's just go ahead and copy this and let's do a translate and then um, let's just do a 10 10 10 to kind of move it out of the way and uh, oblong and so as you see, we, we could technically start assembling these together. And if I went, um, let's, let's pull this one down. Let's go down to five. So again, we, we could use these as connectors too if we wanted to overlay them. I'm not going to sit here and do the math and bore you with that. But you kind of get the idea um, that again you can pull these together to create various things so if and then if in this one I wanted to make it a connector to the end I just simply make that another two and you can kind of see here and then I'm gonna tra I'm gonna go ahead and translate this out the distance uh, of 20 I'm not sure I'm doing this correctly uh, there we go yep he's so, so, so you get the idea, and then if I just translate this back to zero, um, and then you, and then let's see, I'm at translate up a five. Let's see, translate to uh, probably need to be two point five. Need to be half of that. There we go. So you can kind of see, and then then now I've created this and then what I what I can do is now I can take this and I can start getting pretty fancy here and if I go Z negative whoops if I gotta do the negative and then boom so you see I'm starting to assemble an, an arm here and so this is a pretty handy 
uh, handy dandy little you know gadget so uh, again part of the idea here is we wanted to show you how to create an oblong object and we did that with a cube and a couple cylinders the second piece is we wanted to show how you can create something a little bit useful because again um, we can use this as, as sort of connecting elements and utilizing the two holes that just you know like we can knock out in two different sizes are handy and then you can kind of see how the assembly process here works uh, because we could even rotate the original piece and we we could animate this and we could use this sort of as a robotic arm or a connector or something like that and you see how we just simply pulled it together by call over here by calling the module uh, instituting it several different times so uh, again it's it's pretty handy to be able to do this and have a col collection of these snippets and that's really I think where a lot of the power in OpenSCAD comes is after you build up a number of these snippets if you will uh, again assembling an object becomes very quick and easy especially for a complex object and one of the nice things and we'll get to it in future episodes is animating with inside of OpenSCAD to kind of see how the product comes together so anyway this code will be on the website the link will be down below and uh, hey if you found this interesting give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel a lot more of this will be coming <music>